Heidi ho there, Liberty Lover. And welcome back. I didn't do a day six and a day seven. So I'm about to do a day six and a day seven. Uh, this is my day six right here. I finished the um, front flower bed. You know, I have bees. I ordered another uh, colony of bees. So I want to make sure that there's plenty of flowers around and uh, things like this for the pollen. You know, some of the best, like, uh, allergy medicine is uh, the pollen of your area. You know, they say, like, a teaspoon of uh, sh uh, honey a day will help with your allergies. So, um, this is the front flower bed. I pretty much stacked it. They got some pretty cool flowers. I'm excited for them to uh, bloom and fill out. The, <clears throat> where that grass is in that bush, I have some ground hornets or something right there. And I do have that bee suit, so... Uh, next day or two, I'm going to wear the bee suit and get that grass out of that bush. But these bushes create like a, <clears throat> a bunch of little bitty yellow flowers full of pollen. And uh, we just got some dwarves. Um, I forget what they call those, but they remind me of like an Indian paintbrush. And then those purple ones are snapdragons. I had got like the multicolored ones. Uh, these are some kind of sunshine or something or another. And then those grow uh, some bright yellow flowers as well. And then I just got like that white one under that burgundy bush. That burgundy bush is really cool. It, it kind of reminds me of a plant called a firecracker. I have some of those on the other side. Uh, the ones on the side is like an orange and red color. This is like a pink color. Oh, and I thought I would be able to capture some of the... Uh, little flowers for you, but uh, apparently they all kind of withered away. Uh, they've been out for a little while, but it's like a vibrant pink little bitty flower. Uh, I believe it produces nectar for like coming birds and butterflies and bees and stuff, which is really cool. So this was my day six. Um, I finally, I've been working on this one for a couple days. Uh, we got the other flower garden beds going. I have one left I have to do, uh, that one, I, now I gotta, like, clean up my mess, I got, like, mulch, I still got this one to do right here, I'm excited about this, uh, the wife kinda, they had another one right there, she dug it up and put that and rearranged those, but, you know, I got bad news for her, I'm about to get into all this and get it done right again, the whole purpose, these, these bushes are box hollies, the whole purpose of the box hollies was to kind of cover the bedroom window, you know, so uh, definitely we'll be spreading those out. It'd be like one, two, three. I'm going to move that. I'm not quite sure what that is, to be honest with you. It could just be like, you know, a regular tropical plant, but it could also be a pineapple. I wanted to say I cut the top of the pineapple and planted it because I heard that's how you, you can grow them. And so that may possibly be a pineapple. But I'm going to move the pineapple, or that plant, whatever that is, to right here. And then in the spirit of living in Louisiana, I got uh, these guys right here. This is a voodoo mix. I'm a, I was cutting some cement blocks. I'll show you that in a second. That goes to my day seven. But I'm going to wipe the camera lens real quick and make sure... <clears throat> Uh, maybe I didn't clean it good enough. I'm sorry, guys. Technical difficulties, huh? Let's see. Well, I don't know if you can read it, but it's impotence, and it's the voodoo mix uh, in the spirit of, you know, New Orleans. I mean, Louisiana. I got the voodoo mix, which is pretty cool. And then these are going to go into the back. I have a trellis right in front of the chicken coops. These are very pretty. Happy hour banana. And then the uh, pink ones, the wife took those. Uh, they're pretty much the same. Um, they're just pink. And so that would be over there <clears throat> by the trellis with the the um, honeysuckle. And then I got a passion flower vine and things like this. So, uh, but also on day six, uh, this is the other front of the flower bed. The wife didn't really listen to me too well. Because this pretty much gets all shade. 
And most of these plants require sunlight partial shade. Unlike the voodoo mix, those impotence is partial sun, no shade. So those would have worked a lot better right here. But you can see like this. This is, oh, I thought they were the snapdragons. Savia. Um, can't tell if that's my camera or my lens because I was cutting these cement brick. But Vista Purple. Salvia. And uh, we got a couple of the impotents over here. They're just these light purple ones. Um, those would probably do really well. But uh, any hoozle. So the other thing that happened on Saturday is the my 17-year-old brother that I have custody of because our father passed away last Thanksgiving, uh, the 20-year-old brother called and was like, hey, we're worried about you. Why don't you come stay? Well, it's been five months, and that's the first time you hit him up that you're worried. And so the stipulation was made that uh, you know, if you go over there, we've been pretty strict about the quarantine. Yeah, we've gone to, like, uh, the lumber yard, but, you know, there's very few people that are there, and, you know, we're masked up, gloved up, like, taking every precaution. And so, yes, we're taking the quarantine strict. I'm not working. She's not babysitting, things like this. And, um, you know, I, th I just think that he got bored, but he left. And, uh, the, you know, if he left, we, we were going to have to, he's going to have to spend the rest of quarantine over there. Well, and it's not like, you know, he gets, he can do whatever he wants. I mean, he got to get, you know, like, I still need to be responsible to make sure that his needs are taken care of and everything like this. But uh, he ended up leaving. And then after he left, about 30 minutes later, you know, Trump did the regular press conference on Sunday and extended it till April 30th, possibly June 11th. So after that, I messaged him. I was like, look, you know, they extended it to April 30th, possibly June 11th, and, you know, I've been prepping for this for years, I mean, heavy since, you know, the beginning of February, and I'm talking about heavy, you know, uh, I probably got more than what the stores got around here, you know, I mean, like, I've been taking it serious, I mean, there's six, six people in my house, you know, four kids, I mean, I want to make sure that their everyday life is, you know, as normal as possible through all this, so, I was very sad to see that he left. I, le I sent him a message saying they extended it. You know, please reconsider coming home. You know, I don't want to have to be the dickhead that says no in a week when you're whatever, uh, out of supplies or money or whatever's going on over there that I can't let you in. I mean, I don't want people to get sick. I don't know how well they're taking the situation. So that was my day six drama. It's like I really am kind of upset and stressed out. I don't want nothing to happen to him. Obviously, it's my youngest brother, and that's he's relying on me, right? So uh, I hate being a responsible adult. <laughs> but anyways, that's my day six. I got my flower bed done, and I uh, hope everybody's doing well out there. I'm about to go ahead and just uh, stop this and make my day seven. And uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace, guys. Much love. Stay safe. Never stop prepping. Remember to always stay vigilant. Hope everyone's doing well. Try to stay busy outside. Keep your spirits up. You know, spend this time with your friends and family. Like. Hey. Whee. Corbin. Wave. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> Peace, guys.